Hi, I'm Nicholas Chen, and I'm the chair of the 2010 WIST Student Innovation Contest. Basically, the way the contest works is we provide you with a piece of hardware that's super unique and cannot be found anywhere else in the world, and you show us how innovative you can be with it. The hardware for this year is supplied by Microsoft Applied Sciences, and it is this, uh, this bad boy right here. And I've made a quick video showing you uh, what this thing is all about. What this device is, is a keyboard and touch surface placed over a large LCD screen. What this means is that the keyboard is completely dynamic. So when I hold down this Windows key, you'll notice that the keys update to show me what the keyboard shortcuts are. The upper portion of the keyboard is touch sensitive. And as I tap, you'll see that the keyboard is registering each touch. I have a couple more demos to give you a better sense of what the keyboard can do. Programs running on the computer can change the keyboard on the fly to customize it for the task at hand. For instance, in this app running on the computer that the keyboard's attached to, you can change from an American keyboard to a French keyboard to a Russian keyboard. Programs have a great deal of control about how things get drawn to the screen. In this demo, keys fade to the color I touch using an animation I've defined programmatically. You'll also notice that because the keys sit on a single unified screen, the entire surface area can be drawn to seamlessly, allowing for a great deal of versatility. Since the device places no restrictions about what you can show on the screen, you can do some decidedly non-keyboard-like things, such as showing a picture behind all the keys, or using the top area as an interactive image viewer that allows you to use your fingers to pan around. So, hopefully you like what you saw, and if you think you can do something really awesome with this keyboard, I encourage you to go to our website at www.acm.org slash WIST, and if you click on the student contest link, you'll get a web page explaining uh, the contest rules, how to get signed up so that you get a keyboard, the prizes we'll be awarding, and a Q&A section with frequently asked questions. Unfortunately, since this is the student innovation competition, you must be a student to participate.